<laughs> We're surrounded by a lot of your your tools of the trade. Uh, can you uh, describe what we have uh, around us in the studio and what um, people hopefully will come and see on the on the? Um, what I have in my job. studio, I have a ton of um, paint and that's all around here. I have brushes, use a ton of different size brushes. Um, even though I'm, I paint on really large canvases, a lot of times I'm painting like, um, you know, with very, very small, you know, into little, little tiny spaces like that. What's your approach to um, uh, mixing and blending um, uh, these colors because if you don't do it right it could turn into one jumbled chaotic mess um it's really funny i had someone here at my studio last week and um the woman asked me like um do you ever feel like you've like messed up like that kind of a thing like that thing of like oh like i need some plan and if i go off plan then it's messed up but i don't but that's not how i work like the painting once the painting gets started and gets really going i kind of am following the shapes um, and the brush strokes that are there and then and then working into it um, and I kind of like a little to throw a little bit of chaos into my work kind of like maybe I don't want to call it messing it up but a little bit of that like you know risk is this your first time on the, the Chester County studio tour this is my first time doing the tour yep <laughs> and there has to be a little bit of nerves because this is your this is so your funny home. that this is your it's so funny space. that you say that the nerves thing because I was telling my friend I said oh I, all of a sudden I just had like panic um, the other day and she's like well there's a fine line between like being nervous and being excited so I'm trying to say that I'm like excited but I yeah of course I'm nervous <laughs> anytime you like um, you know put something so personal out into the world you never know how people react to it but hopefully people who come will be supportive of the arts, so.